Welcome back to the show, folks. It's John Pollock and Robin Black with you. This coming Sunday, the UFC makes their debut in the Netherlands. It's happening 2 p.m. Eastern time here in Canada on TSN. It's going to be headlined by Andre Arlovsky taking on the man that joins us now, the home country star himself, Alistair Overeem. And Alistair, how does it feel to be home headlining this card for the UFC, the UFC's debut in the Netherlands? This has to be a special one for you. It's uh, definitely a special one. The UFC's first ever show in Holland. People here are very excited. I am very excited. Uh, all my family and friends uh, will be attending, will be there. We're going to have a great after party. I'm in the best shape ever, and uh, I'm very excited to, uh, to, uh, to be able to this fight. Uh, Alistair, we're excited, too, for this matchup. It's a nice one. You're a very complex, very developed, highly developed striker. And you look at Arlovsky, and he is very much a meat and potatoes guy. The things he does, he does extraordinarily well. But it, you're more complex, and he's exquisite uh, simplicity. Is that how you see this fight? Well, the thing is, um, let's not forget, uh, Andre Arlovsky trains at the same gym. He trains with Greg Jackson, Mike Wingajan. Undoubtedly, these coaches know me. Undoubtedly, they'll be working on some sort of a surprise. It will be up to me to be sharp, don't underestimate him, and um, be ready for that surprise, whatever it may be. Alistair, did you ask for this fight, or was this presented to you by the UFC? No, basically it was presented to me by uh, Lorenzo. Um, he said, we have a loss game, we have Kane, but Kane is injured, so it's going to be a loss game. That was uh, that. Was that. And uh, so they will, as you said, undoubtedly be looking for a surprise or to find uh, some of your tendencies to attempt to exploit. What kind of surprises can you give him or what can you discern from his tendencies that will allow you to, to find a hole? Well, if I tell you the surprise, then it won't be a surprise. <laughs> Hang in there. It's almost Sunday, a couple nights away. Yeah. But uh, I always work on several surprises, not one. But several. Um, I'm, I'm very happy to report I'm in a great shape. Camp was good. I'm very sharp. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for this, uh, this, this fight Saturday or Sunday. When you fought uh, Dos Santos, you slipped out sort of an inside slip, kind of trying to draw out his right hand. It never came, and you ripped him with that shot anyways. Was that one of the surprises that you had laid out for him? That was a beautiful shot. Was that something you had laid out specifically for Junior, or was that something that was presented in the moment? No, it was definitely of something I, uh, I, I, um, I planned for Junior. Uh, I, I told several people of it. Huh. I would do this. It, you know, it, it's kind of an order. I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do that, then I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to finish him with X, Y, Z. So it has to go in that order. Um, we have a little bit different order for Andre, but uh, we're going to see how it goes. How has you mentioned how great this camp has been for you, Alistair? How have how have both sides adjusted here, being that you are still training under one roof here, and and what coaches you have been working for, and what has the relationship been like at the gym in preparation for this fight? Has it been awkward at all? No, I, listen, I have a great relationship with the coaches. I'm actually looking forward to get back in there and work with everybody, have uh, peace and order restored. Um, what I'm concerned, I don't have a problem with Andre. I think uh, he has a little bit of a problem. He has more of a problem with the situation than I have. He's a little bit shying away and not saying uh, good morning, acting a little bit weird, acting a little bit awkward. But uh, for me, there's no problem. I mean, I've fought friends before, I've fought enemies before, I've fought people who I love to train with. Um, I've always come out on top. Uh, and I expect no different this uh, Sunday. When you do fight somebody that is a friend or you fight somebody that you're familiar with or someone you dislike, can you experience the combat sort of from your perspective exactly the same regardless of those situations? Well, you know what to expect a little bit more and uh, they know to expect a little bit more. To me, uh, previous, that works to my advantage. But, you know, you always have to be sharp because there's always an X factor. There's always a slip up. There's always a mistake. So it doesn't mean, you know, you know somebody. But um, And I think, you know, in judging Andre's case, he's going to be very motivated. He really wants to win this fight. So I'm going to have to be extra on my toes. How has it worked at the gym? Have you seen him much or are you guys largely split at this point and, and you haven't seen much of him uh, given the, the breakdown of this camp and how you guys have utilized your coaches? I saw him a couple of times. 
And uh, he, he uh, yeah, just a quickly when he walks out, pretends not to see me. It's all good to me, you know. It, it's all good. I, I have the idea it's bothering more than it's bothering me. I'm all good with the situation. I'm looking forward to this fight Sunday. I'm looking forward to uh, raise my hands in victory. And, um, yeah, getting back to the normal ways of things, uh, back in the gym with all the other coaches and the team. Alistair, you've had so many fights in kickboxing, 40 mixed martial arts wins. Uh, do you still love it? And what do you love about it? Do you love the moment? Do you love showing the skills that you've spent a lifetime acquiring? What is it that you love about, about Sunday night coming up? Well, this fight in particular is going to be special because it's the first ever you've seen Holland, and then everybody's coming, family, friends. It's all happening here in the Netherlands, and uh, it's happening for my, for my close one. Is your is your older brother going to be there with you, Alistair? Of course he's going to be there. Will he be cornering you, or will he just be watching? No, he'll just be attending. I mean, he was not there in my camp, so it would be weird if he would be cornering me. I have my coach staff. They're very, uh, very, uh, very well trained. We spend a great deal of time together the last two months. But... Um, no, it's going to be it's going to be a great show. I'm looking forward to it. When you've spent a lifetime developing a skill set like you have, are you still able to see fairly large improvements anymore, or is the collection of skills that you have the 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 finished product of Andre uh, or of uh, Alistair Overeem? No, no, no. I'm very uh, well, very much po- focused on getting better every fight. Hmm. I am still getting. Very much, um, um, I'm very much uh, improvement with each camp, with each fight, and that's exactly what I'm looking for, and that's exactly what's needed. I mean, every opponent um, forms a different challenge, so to speak, and I'm very happy that I have these opponents. They literally make me a better fighter. With Greg Jackson and Mike Winklejohn working with Andre for this fight, uh, who who will be in your corner on, on Sunday? Well, I have these uh, long-time coaches who I've worked with, with, on, with the Frank Mayer fight, the Brock Lesnar fight, uh, basically people I've known for 10 years, and I'll have them in my corner. It's Yoki Engbert, it's Asad Sufi, it's Roberto Alencar, who's my um, jiu-jitsu coach from um, Albuquerque, and it's uh, Chad Smith, who's also from Albuquerque, the wrestling coach. So it's four coaches, and um, they're excellent. I mean, we've spent a great deal, a great deal of time together the last year and a half, They've been uh, responsible for my last free winning streak, and I'm going into this fight very confident with these with these coaches uh, backing me. Do you feel at all that that Andre is carrying a lot of emotion into this fight? I mean, he has spoken a lot about the, this fight going into things. You seem very calm, cool, collected. This is just another opponent for you. Uh, do you sense that from Andre and what he has said publicly? Yeah, I don't know exactly what he said publicly, but I definitely do have the idea that he's uh, emotionally charged going into this fight, which. I see as an advantage on my end. Um, yeah, time will tell. Do you have any idea? Uh, the following weekend, we've got Fabricio Verdum and Stipe Miocic for the heavyweight championship. Who do you believe is going to be the heavyweight champion coming out of Brazil? I think 60-40 for Verdum. Wow. 60-40. It's a very it's a very interesting fight coming up. And, and if you uh, if and when you beat Andre, uh, is that the next fight for you to go in and fight for the title? Definitely, yes. Well, we're looking forward to Madison Square Garden. Wow, Madison nice. Square Garden. That would be a big one for one Alistair Overeem. Uh, but this coming Sunday, he's got Andre Orlovsky once again here in Canada. 2 p.m. Eastern time, the main card kicks off on TSN. Uh, Alistair, it's going to be a phenomenal scene when you walk out. I'm very much looking to whatever electronic music you have chosen for your big entrance, and we can't wait for the fight on Sunday. Sounds good, amigo.